Please be thank. This is the person who helped me at the tomb, my lord. Lord Vivek, we don't need the help of this outlander. Oh hush, Arch Cannon Tarvis. Outlanders have their usefulness, and this one intrigues me. As you say, I'll be in my office if you need me. Step forward, friend of Lavu, and let us speak. says you helped him in his mission. As I have written, the one who helps my ally becomes my friend. Despite the Arch Cannon's concerns, I greet you with sincerity and pose a simple question. Will you assist us further, Outlander? I have ordinators and armagers at my disposal. Vast armies of followers and dedicated priests. What I don't have, however, is a fresh perspective. Will you set aside your personal goals for a time and become the eyes and ears of a god? Good. I need assistance to investigate a strange phenomenon that the ancestor confirmed may indeed be a problem. We'll start with a simple divination ritual. Archcanon Tarvis can tell you what we need to delve into this mystery. The Daedric Prince. I suppose the same events that concern me might interest Azura, though she could just as easily be the source of these troubles. Red Mountain. Strange Daedra. And then there's... Well, we'll talk more about that when you return. Levul's ancestor assured me that a source of power remains safe. As for the rest, let the guess ripen in the mind, and only speak when the fruit grows certain. I require more information on these matters. Hence the need for the divination ritual. The situation that troubles me has taken a toll on my arch cannon, but he's a faithful servant. Tarvis will do as I say, and I say we need your assistance. Find the arch cannon in his office, and he'll tell you how to proceed. Outlander. Lord Vivek trusts too much to put his faith in one such as you, but who am I to question my god? I suppose he sent you to me so I could put you to work? Did he say which task he wants us to accomplish first? Ah, yes. We do need to perform a ritual to reveal the nature of the phenomenon that vexes Lord Vivek. Now listen closely. I hate to repeat myself. 
Despite my objections, Vivek believes you were sent to help, so I'll do my best to assist you. Go to the ziggurat that's still under construction and tell the overseer that Lord Vivek requires the blessing stone. Then bring it to me in the palace. You receive a simple errand in the service of Lord Vivek, and countless questions form unbidden in your mind. Very well. Go ahead. Ask your questions. It's not like I'm the busy arch canon of a living god or anything. This project has been nothing but one disaster after another. How am I expected to get this ziggurat built on time when things constantly go wrong? Don't mind me. I'm just having one of those days. Our blessing stone? Do you know what happens if we give up our blessing stone? Well, neither do I. But I'm sure it won't put us back on schedule or end our string of disasters. I'm not one to disagree with the Arch Cannon, but that's a terrible idea. Lord Vivek, why didn't you say so? But I'll need your help before I can turn over the Blessing Stone. The passage that leads to the Consecration Chamber collapsed, trapping some of my workers. If you can clear the way, you can borrow the stone. I appreciate the help. Just remember that you're only borrowing the stone. It needs to be back in the consecration chamber before the next shift, or we'll never get this ziggurat constructed in time. Thank you. I'll go tell the Overseer what you did for me. I see you've got the Blessing Stone. Look, I appreciate that you were able to aid my workers, and I understand that Lord Vivek has need of the stone. I won't feel comfortable starting construction again until it's back in place. Vivek! The Outlander returns. I understand there was trouble at the construction site. 
but you were able to save a few of the workers. Lord Vivek always draws the straightest arrow from the quiver. Praise the Tribunal. Did you bring the Blessing Stone? Reveal the source of Lord Vivek's distress. An Ashlander? A clockwork mage? A Daedric cultist? Something interfered with the ritual, my lord. But we may have learned something. Excuse me while I compare the results to our previous research. Between the cryptic warnings of the ancestor spirit and the unexpected result of the divination ritual, I fear there may be more astir than I imagined. We solved the greatest mysteries by accident, I suspect. I should write that down. We learn from every action we take. Failure or success, each result teaches us something. At least in the larger sense. To be more specific, no. Not as much as I hoped. Images that suggest avenues to investigate, riddles to solve. Let me tell you a secret, Outlander. It concerns a living god and energy that fades like daylight as dusk spreads across the land. Listen well, and speak not a word. My divine energy, it drains away. Whether from illness or foul malady, I know not. You must travel the land and seek answers on my behalf. But first, gratitude before service, as I have written. So thank you. Ritual confirmed my worst fears. Divine energy flows out of me for no reason that I can discern. I felt the power imbued within my blessing stone get wrenched away as soon as you added it to the ritual. I couldn't stop it. To quote my own words as the warrior poet, no lock exists that the determined thief cannot open. Follow the trail of my missing energy, and try to discover the identity of the enemy Lavul's ancestor warned us about. Something drains my energy. Find Archcanon Tarvis in his office, and ask if he gleaned anything useful from the ritual. If not, I know his earlier research indicated new avenues to investigate. Go where he tells you and learn what you can. My divine energy diminishes with every passing moment, but the ritual confirmed my affliction is not natural. I regret that I could not reveal the full nature of these dire circumstances until your trustworthiness had been demonstrated. Yes. While Archcanon Tarvis has always been cautious about ideas and ideologies that didn't originate within the Tribunal. And recently, that prudence has grown a thousandfold. He's a faithful servant, however, despite his narrow-mindedness.
They always chide me about my flagrant displays of divinity. But so far, I am the only one of the living gods whose power is fading. Almalaxia hoards her energy and has barricaded her temple against attack. As for Sopa's seal... My brother travels. We have not heard from him for quite some time. But I sense that he remains safe and in possession of his full power. Funny. You always wanted to discover the limits of our divinity. Perhaps I will solve that mystery for him. At first, I barely noticed the loss of energy. But as I continue to grow weaker, the more it feels like an attack against my person. Besides, the ancestor spirit confirmed that an ancient enemy was to blame. We just need to determine who, before... Let us not dwell on disasters to come when we have problems enough to deal with in the here and now. Consult with Archcanon Tarvus and discover the source of this attack. Then we can put an end to it and not worry about what might have been.
I can't believe they want us to go outside the house to find Vea. Out of here, those cultists, they're insane. All right, but keep your voice down. I'll be ready to leave soon enough. In the meantime, if anyone asks, you're just here to haul cargo. What? Who? This one is just here to haul cargo. Cultists? This one said nothing about cultists. Perhaps you are thinking of another Khajiit. Look, Renaku just wants to leave all these crazy dark elves behind and find a safer mine to work in. The Shulk ore mine is cursed. Naku out of it. If you want to know what happened so badly, just go out to the Shulk or mine and see for yourself.
I love seeing new faces. For a while, it was just the same old miners and the occasional traveling merchant. Thought Carillon might have to shut this place down. Look at me talking your ears off. What can I get you? At first, I assumed it was the usual house squabbles. Redrin and Hlalu arguments can get pretty heated. Then I thought maybe the Ashlanders were scaring people off. But after that proclamation... No, I'd rather not talk about that with a stranger. I like the color of your gold, Outlander. Just between us, I heard the house guard shut down the Shulk or Mine. Something to do with violent cultists who attacked the miners and took over the place. Even got the crew chief, or so I heard. strange about that dog. You shouldn't be here. Didn't you read the House Redoran proclamation? I wouldn't be here myself, but some of my miners are still in there. Our mine was invaded by violent cultists. They showed up and, and just took the place over. My people are trapped. I'm no expert, but it looked like the cultists were preparing to conduct a ritual before the Ashlander interrupted them. Well, I, I never actually saw an Ashlander, but I heard a cultist yell, Ashlander thief, that's our mystical weapon. That's not an exact quote, but you get the idea. I don't know what happened after that. I was kind of busy trying not to die. Probably because I heard one of them say, with this ritual we'll call forth a mystical weapon and attain the power of a god. Or something along those lines. Look. I was just trying to get me and my miners out of there when the Ashlander showed up. Really? That's awfully brave of you. If you see any of my miners, tell them to get their arses out here. I'll wait as long as I can. Or until I hear screaming. Then I'll go to Balmora and try to find some help. Good luck in there.
Did you find what you were looking for in the mine? Of course. I perfectly understand. Uh, I think I'll wait a little longer and see if any of my miners were able to escape from the cultists. Good luck with your mission. Whatever it is. You look like the traveling sort. In your excursions, have you perchance come upon a young dark elf named Vale? She went missing a couple of weeks ago and her father desperately seeks any information regarding her whereabouts. That's a shame. Her father, Eris, the house counselor here in Balmora, promises that anyone who can find his daughter and return her safely to his side will be well rewarded. You should speak to Counselor Eris. He's opened the Kin House to interview potential recruits. Freelancers, as it were. If you're interested, go speak to the Counselor. The longer Vea remains missing, the more distressed Counselor Eris becomes. Counselor Eris can be found at the Redoran Kin House, and do hurry. He's ever so troubled by our failure to locate young Vea. If he finds that an outsider can succeed where the house guard has failed, so be it. I have no issue with Counselor Eris seeking help. It's where he's decided to get that help that concerns me. House Redoran doesn't need outsiders to take care of its business. But who am I to question a house counselor? May I help you? Yes? Is there something I can do for you, Outlander? My daughter has been gone too long and the house guard can't seem to find a wall in the corner. But why should I trust you with this task? Tell me, Outlander. How can you succeed when my forces continue to fail time and time again? An interesting insight. Perhaps you can find my daughter. Vea can handle herself, but the father worries, you understand? Anyway, I agree with your assessment. That's why I'm willing to bring in outside help on this. Vea fled after a family disagreement. She's run away before, but I'm concerned that she might have something more permanent in mind this time, and more dangerous. Vea knows how to evade the house guard, but as you said, she doesn't know you. 
Captain Briven oversees the house's attempt to locate my daughter. You should speak to him and see what his investigation has already turned up. He's probably patrolling the town square at this time of day. Briven's soldiers have been trying to get information out of Vea's friends. But those young men and women are almost as good at avoiding the house guard as my daughter. That is a private matter. If your investigation proves fruitful, and such matters become relevant, we can discuss the particulars then. But not before. <laughs>